Hi, everyone. Thank you all so much for joining us, and thank you for your interest in applying to Radford University. My name is Whitney Pitchkey. I'm one of the Regional Assistant Directors, and I'm here with my friend. I'm going to let him introduce himself. Hi, thanks, Whitney. My name is Jerry Brown. I'm one of the Assistant Directors of Admission here at Radford, and I primarily recruit the Metro Richmond area, so the City of Richmond, those surrounding counties, as well as I help supervise our Highlander Guides here in the office, and we're excited to show you our application process. Yes, we're very excited and we're going to go ahead and get started to walk you through how to apply to Radford and how to submit your application successfully. So I'm going to share my screen with you all. All right, when you first go to radford.edu, you're going to click on admissions. If you are a new freshman, you're going to want to click on new freshman. If you're a transfer student coming from another college or university, you'll click on transfer students. For the purposes of this video, we're going to demonstrate the new freshman application. And then your first little box here is apply now. Click on this. And then it will take you down to our application. For the freshman application process, Radford works with two applications. We have our own individual application, and we also work with the common application. For the purposes of today's video, we're going to show you how to fill out the Radford specific application, but please know that we will also accept the common application as well. So click on apply online as a freshman applicant, and it will take you directly to our application. From here, you want to just fill in your information. I'm going to be Jane Smith today. And as you go through, you just fill in your contact information. If you would like to opt into texting so that we can text you important information about your application or upcoming events, please feel free to select this box here. I give, Radford, give permission to Radford University to send me important updates via text messaging. If you do not want to send receive text messages from us, that's fine, you can just leave that blank. Make sure that you put in your email address that you will use based on what you are hoping to uh, use for your application. You can list your preferred contact information, date of birth, or I'm making myself younger than I actually am. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> All right, once you filled out all of your address, contact information, you'll end, end up getting to the section about your family. So you'll answer the question, with whom do you make your permanent home? This will ask you to fill in your con family's contact information. We'll ask you to put in your parents' highest level of education. This is just so that we can get some information about you and your family's background. Next up, you'll get to legacy. This is going to ask you if you have a relative who is a, an alumnus or a current student or an employee or former employee of Radford. This just lets us know if you have a current connection to Radford. Next, you'll ask your, we'll ask for your citizenship, so you select the appropriate box there. Then for your ethnicity, it is completely optional.
It will ask you to confirm your email address. If you see that you've made a mistake, just make sure you correct it there, and then you start your application. And sometimes it takes a second. All right, so next it's going to ask you to create a password. This is so that you'll be able to create a portal so that you can log back in later. All right, so everything that you just submitted should be saved. And then you can continue on to the education portion of your application. So this first question, when do you plan to enroll at Radford University? If you're applying for this upcoming fall term, you'll select fall 2021. Your intended major, you'll select this here. If you are undecided, it is perfectly okay to select undecided so that we know that you are still thinking about what you would like to do. If you're considering a double major, you can list a second major here. Are you interested in pursuing a pre-professional program? This would be if you're interested in any of our pre-dental, pre-optometry, pharmacist, physician's assistant, or veteran, veterinarian. And are you interested in being considered for an accelerated bachelor's or master's, master's degree program? If you know for sure that you would like to be considered for one of those, feel free to select yes. Otherwise, you could just leave it blank. What are your housing plans? As a freshman, you would uh, be required to live on campus unless you uh, live within a certain radius of Radford University's campus. Uh, so you would wanna go ahead and select on-campus residence hall, unless again, of course, you are uh, living nearby in the area and then you can just select off-campus. High school, from here, you'll type in the high school that you currently attend. It should show up, you select that. Graduation date, you want to select the date that you will anticipate your graduation. If you have already graduated, then you can uh, select the date that you did graduate. And if you graduated prior to January of 2019, we would just like to know a little bit about what you've been doing since you graduated from high school. If you have not, or if you're still in high school, you can just also leave that section blank. If you've attended multiple high schools, you're welcome to add another high school here. And we would like to see all the high schools that you've previously attended. So you can add that here. And then you would fill out the same information that you did. GPA. You can use your best guess if you're not 100% sure, or you can look directly on your transcript to select your GPA. We will, of course, still look at your high school transcript to see what your GPA is, but you can select it here. Standardized test scores, as all of you know, uh, we have been in the middle of a pandemic where we have not been able to um, take the SAT or ACT. Uh, so we have completely waived the SAT or ACT for all students for this upcoming year. If you have taken the SAT and you would like to report scores, feel free to say yes, um, but otherwise just select no. If you have not, obviously select no. It'll ask if you're planning to take it when. Um, you can just leave that blank if you are not planning to, to take the test. Next, we would like to know your school counselor. This would be just if we need to contact them to get some more information. Uh, so you would list your counselor's name. And then next up, we would like to know what your senior schedule is. In many cases, we will see this on your high school transcript, but we would like to know what your classes, what classes you're taking. And you can add as many courses as you are taking during your senior year. College coursework. This is if any of you are dual enrolled at your local college or your local community college, you do have the option to list any additional coursework that you're taking in college. If you are not currently uh, taking any dual enrollment courses, you can just select no. Activities. We really would like to know what you do outside of school. So whether that is a club, whether it's an organization, whether it's a sport you play through school, whether it is a job, volunteer work, family responsibilities, we would like to know what it is that you are doing. So make sure that you tell us all the different things that you're involved in because we do take this part of your application very seriously. We want to get to know who you are as a person, not just as a student, but also as a person who is going to come to campus and do great things. 
Have you participated in any performing arts? If so, select what you have. If not, feel free to leave that blank. We would love to know how you heard about Radford, so let us know how you heard about us. Next up for honors and leadership roles, if you have any leadership roles that you hold, for example, a captain of a sports team, president of a club, um, you can list these here and you can list as many as you would like. And we do ask that you let us know how often you were involved in this organization or how often, when you received this award or leadership um, honor, um, just so we can, again, know a little bit more about what's, what you're doing. Are you affiliated with the US military? So this would be if either you yourself are um, a student veteran or if your parent um, is an active duty or veteran. In my case, I would select no, but if you are, then you can select yes. Additional information. This is where you do have the opportunity to select uh, or to have the opportunity to share a little bit more about yourself, either through a personal statement, through an essay. If you have um, anything that you would like to share with us, please feel free to use this opportunity here to upload your essay or a personal statement. This is, again, very similar to the activities that we talked about. We want to know who you are and what makes you unique, what makes you excited, what you're hoping to do. Also, if there's maybe something that you feel like we need to know about your high school transcript, so maybe your grades dipped a little bit and you want to explain why, we will take all of this into consideration when we are reviewing your application. So we do encourage you to use this space if you would like to share more information about yourself. The more we get to know about you, the better. So you're almost done. So if you are applying as a Virginia resident, you obviously would be able to qualify for our in-state tuition. If you are applying from out of state, you can just leave all of this blank since you would not be um, applying for in-state tuition benefits. I am not under the age of 24, but for the purposes of this application, I'm going to pretend that I am so that you all can see what this looks like. After you select under the age of 24, um, basically all of your information will be based on your parents. So if your parents or legal guardians provide more than half of your financial support or claim you as a dependent on their taxes, you would select yes. And then we would ask that your family member complete this, app, this section of the application. Next up, after your family member completes that section of the application, we just like to know a little bit about uh, your past. Um, so have you ever been suspended, expelled, dismissed, or subject to disciplinary action from any school? Um, if you have, we would like to know a little bit more about what you did. What we do here is we really just want to know what happened, how, what did you learn from it, when did, when did it happen? This is what we're looking for here. So if you do have to let us know about um, a time where maybe you got in trouble in school, again, it's okay. We do take this into consideration, but we do want to know what you did, when you did it, and what you've learned from it. So I'm going to say I got into a fight in the cafeteria in ninth grade. It was a bad decision and I regret it. If you can share a little more detail with us um, about what was going on, that would be helpful, but just let us know what you did and be honest because again, we really just wanna know what, what happened and we will take it all into consideration. Are you currently on suspension at any college or university, especially if you are applying as a freshman, you probably wouldn't be um, suspended at a college or university, so you can select no. They've been convicted of a violation of any local, state, or federal law other than a minor traffic violation. Oh, again, if you have a speeding ticket or a parking ticket, that's okay. You don't have to select those. Again, if you do, just let us know what happened. Let us know when it was and what you've learned and how you've reflected upon it. And then same thing, convicted or received adjudication for um, a, a local, state, or federal law other than a minor traffic violation. So again, if you have a parking ticket or a speeding ticket, those are not things you have to report to us. And are you currently on a court ordered or unsupervised probation under any terms of a filing under advisement? If you, again, if you have, just let us know what's going on. 
honor pledge. This is where you basically say, I have made um, every attempt to be honest on this application um, to the best of my knowledge. Everything that I have listed here is, is uh, correct to the best of my knowledge. Um, we also want to make sure that you know that coming into Radford University that we do have an honor code and an honor pledge. And so students are required to um, live by the agreements that they will not lie, cheat, or steal in either their academic or personal life. So make sure you read through all of this. If you waive your right to review access to, of letters of statements or recommendation written on my behalf, if you are okay to, to move forward with that, you click no if you do not, or you would click yes if you do not, uh, if you would like to see letters of recommendation statements written, you would select no. That's basically it. Next, you're going to submit your application. Missing some information. Well, sometimes this happens. Uh, so it will let you know what it is that you're missing and you can go back and add it in. Let's see what I missed. A cell phone number. Looks like it will show up. So clearly I did not do this as, oh, I didn't, I forgot to select that I acknowledge the statements, whoops. So you'll see if you forget to do that, we'll make you go back and do it. But that's a good example of if you forget to complete something, that's okay. The application will let you know before you submit it. Still missing some information. Cell phone number required to receive text message updates. All right, let's see if it will submit this time. So the application itself, you can actually download the application to make sure that everything is filled out correctly. And then the next thing that you'll want to make sure that you do is send your high school transcript to us. And you can actually select here, I will submit my transcripts tomorrow or within a week. We would like these as soon as possible. So just make sure that you get these into us and you can contact your school counselor to do this. Send us official test scores. Again, you do not have to do that this year. Um, so you can just confirm. And then be sure to file your FAFSA if you would like to be considered for any need-based financial aid. And you would just confirm this. It does let you know what our school code is. And so at this point, you are all set. Uh, you will want to make sure that you check your application, I'm sorry, your email to make sure that your application was received. We will send you a confirmation email and we will also send you a, um, a link to a portal where you can actually set up your application. Um, you can see whether or not we have received your transcript, received information that you've sent to us. Um, this is also how you'll get your admissions decision. So we will email you when your admissions decision is posted to your account and you'll be able to go back into your online portal and uh, check, your, check your decision. Um, this is how you fill out the application, but if you have any questions or you have any issues with the application, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. We are more than happy to help. So that brings us to the end of the application itself, and I'm gonna stop sharing my screen and I'm gonna turn it back over to Jerry so that he can show you a little bit more about Radford and the application. Yes, thank you, Whitney. Now we'll talk a little bit about just the general information we need for that application. So as Whitney mentioned, there are two ways to apply to us. We can, you can apply through our website or through the Common App. Students, it's completely up to you on which application you submit. I always say do what's most convenient for you. If you've already created that Common App profile, by all means, you can use that or you can feel free to use our application. We'll need to see only two items for your application to be complete. We'll need to see that official copy of your high school transcript, as well as your actual application to Radford. We are completely test optional this year, so we do not need to see SAT or ACT scores from you. And then we do give you the chance to send in two additional pieces to your application, including a personal statement or essay, which we'd love to hear a little bit more about you outside of the classroom, as well as a letter of recommendation. Our application is completely free, so you don't have to worry about having a fee waiver or anything like that. Our application is completely free. And then in the bottom of that, that slide there, you do see our middle 50%. It is key to note those middle 50% are not minimums and maximums. Those are just where a majority of our students fell last year. For GPA, that was a 2.9 to 3.6. 25% of our students were above that 
25% of our students were below that 2.9. So students, that's not a minimum or maximum. And just remember, we only need to see two items for your application to be complete, the high school transcript, as well as your actual application. We do have two application periods out here at Rapper. We encourage our students to complete their application by that early action deadline, which is December the 1st. That early action is non-binding. So we encourage you to go ahead, get that application in. We typically send out decisions within about a month of your application being complete in between having your actual application and your transcript being in, and then we encourage you to submit your FAFSA. Our priority FAFSA deadline this year is January the 15th. So make sure you complete that FAFSA, get all that information in. That way you're eligible for as much need-based funding as possible. And I'll wrap up by sharing a little bit about our merit-based scholarships. We do have a merit-based scholarship program called the Highlander Distinction Program. You do not have to complete any additional pieces of an application or anything like that just to be undergo merit-based scholarship review, we just need a complete application for you. So as long as you get a complete application, you get a transcript into us, you will undergo merit-based scholarship review. So thanks for joining us today, guys, and we hope to see your application soon and go Highlanders.